Yeah, what's up, guys? This is Pastor JP here from the Upper Room, tapping in here for uh, Sister Shakira McFadden. Uh, there has been something that has gone on with her Facebook page. This is night six of her online social media revival. Uh, I'm going to be giving the word tonight. We're just going to wait for uh, social media to just uh, break an audience for us, just bring us on. Listen, there is a lot going on right now, and the devil is really literally trying to stop this from going on. When I tell you that the devil is really trying to stop this re online revival from going, listen, we, we've been communicating, <clears throat> and what we're going to have to do is everybody just pray for Sister uh, Shakira McFadden. She's going to be on here. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to need that I need everybody to do. I need everybody to share this video right now because they're not going to stop this. This is night six of the online social media revival from uh, uh, prophetess uh, Dr. Shakira McFadden, guilty as charged. I'm going to wait for a few people to come up on here because I'm getting ready to go dumb on this, especially right now. The devil is a liar and the devil's trying to stop her broadcast. Uh, I don't know what happened. I see you, Shakira. Uh, everybody look. Everybody know that uh, Sister Shakira is on here. Uh, everybody just share this video. I'm going to wait just a minute for everybody to just, uh, you know, for Facebook to accumulate an audience. Believe me when I tell you that this is going to be a word, especially tonight. The devil, he's always trying to throw lefts. He's always trying to little right. So what, what, throw right. So what I'm going to ask you is everybody tag five people in this. Everybody tag five people in this video. I'm going to wait about, I'm literally, I'm going to wait about five minutes and then I'm going in. I'm hopping right in. We're going to do this. We're going to let God have his way. We're going to be, we're going to let God just bless, bless you tonight guilty as charged we know that the bible says that the devil is the accuser of the brethren we know that he loves to point his finger at our past and what we got going on now but i'm gonna i'm gonna shut down every stronghold i'm gonna cut down every wall every barrier everything the enemy's been trying to do so look if you can just do me a favor real quick every single person over here share this video tag five tag ten you know what to be honest with you i here's what i'm asking everybody to do I want you to tag so many people in this. I'm going to take some time. Shakira, I know that you're on here watching me. I'm going to take some time and I'm going I'm to ask everybody to tag as many people as possible. Send as many stars as possible. Sow a seed as much as possible. Y'all don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. They came on the woman of God's page and they said, we are blocking you tonight. You cannot get on live. They told this, they told Shakira this, you cannot get on live. You cannot post, you can post, but you cannot do any type of live. Listen, I tried to bring her on my live and Facebook said that she wasn't even allowed to come on my live, but that's not going to stop what God's doing. That's not going to stop what God's got going on. So everybody do me a favor. Oh, there's 31 people on here. 33, we're going to wait for a minute, share this video, uh, tag somebody in this, get pumped, get hype this is night what night number six pastor jp here from the upper room from the upper room i'm going in i'm going dumb because the enemy loves to come on here and cause discord but in jesus name we're gonna let the enemy know that the blood of jesus has broken every chain every shackle i'm not playing no games tonight i'm standing in the gap for my sister right now i'm standing in, a, in, in, in i'm talking about in a holy place tonight we're standing in a holy place coming out of a place of victory so come on everybody Come on, somebody. I'm, I know how Shakira rocks. I'm going to wait on just a lot, uh, just everybody. I'm asking everybody, tag as many people as you can. And if, if she has to continue to do this until Facebook gets this thing fixed, then that's what we're going to have to do. But the devil is a liar. So look, all the links below, we're going to get into this. We're just going to do it. Come on, uh, Shakira, I'm going to wait a couple more minutes before all you people get, you know, before all you people can really get notified about what's going on and, you know, what's going on with the page. So move this. So get ready. Guilty as charged night six. You know how the enemy does. He loves to bring up what you did, what you didn't do. Use people. I'm going to tell you right now, witchcraft and all this voodoo and this black magic and whatever the devil's got going on against us, us saints right now, we're going to break that down in Jesus' name. Listen, this might be one of the hypest nights you got. This might be one of the hypest nights that we have on here. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that anybody else is not, I'm not saying anybody else is not, I got a fresh anointing. I'm saying because the enemy is hitting the woman of God like this so hard, I promise you, all of us are getting ready to go in deep. All of us are getting ready to tell the devil we're tired of it. All of us are getting ready to go heavy. All of us are getting ready to go into intercession. All of us are getting ready to go dumb in this thing. We'll set this whole thing on fire. We'll set this entire Facebook page on fire. We'll set this whole revival on fire. But I need some people to come up on here and share this video. I've been watching the, pa the, the past nights. God's been using this woman. Listen, God.
God has been using this woman of God. I'm talking about heavily to bring movements through Facebook. How many people do you know? How many people do you know that do social media online revivals? Come on, somebody. So just come on. Take a minute. Let Facebook accumulate an audience. Let the presence of God move. Let's let the spirit of God move. Guilty as charged. Night six. Let's go. I'm telling you. The devil thought he had all of us. Just pointing his finger at us. Look at you. Look, God. He's not, he's not a man of God. Look, God. That's not a woman of God. Look, God. Look, God. Look, God. Look what they're doing. Look, God. They used to be a dope boy. Look, God. They used to be all about money. Look, God. They used to be this. Always pointing the finger. Look, Shakira. I'm going to wait a minute. Come on. Tag and share like crazy. I got 83,000 uh, followers on mine. Uh, Shakira's got about half a million. But we're going to add this thing together. Can I ask all my followers to share this page right now? I'm going to take, I'm going to take a couple extra minutes. I'm not rushing nothing because we're going to figure this thing out. She's on here right now. Hold on. She's on here right now. She, uh, Shakira's on here right now. I can add everybody in this crazy. Look, I'm going to tell y'all something. I can add every single person on Facebook, but, but Shakira. Facebook will let me add every person on here, but Shakira. And G it, it, the devil is a liar. Come on, Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord, move up on this broadcast tonight. I dare you right now. I dare somebody to start praying and interceding on behalf of her page right now. You all understand? You all already know this woman is reaching millions of people all over the earth on, on a regular every week. So, God, I, so I, you know what I'm going to talk about? I'm going to talk about these religious and these, these foul spirits that come up against the prophets of God that want to stop the move of God in Jesus' name. I need every single person on here to get ready, get ready. Ready, get ready. I'm going to give everybody three minutes right now, three minutes to tag as many people as possible as you can and share this video. Three minutes. Come on. Can you hear me clearly? Three minutes. Share this. I'm talking about share this thing so much to where Facebook gets shaken. I want this thing like I, Shakira. I'm hearing this thing like thunder, like lightning and thunder coming up on this in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, Father. You are worthy of all the glory, the honor, and the praise. At least give me a hundo, a hundo on here. Give me a hundred people that will see the glory of God, that will feel the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. See, Shakira, this ain't nothing but a minor setback for a major comeback. This ain't nothing but a minor setback. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. It, look what Shakira just said. It'll let her post, but it won't let her go live. But guess what? There's other ways to get the word of God out right now, and we're going to do that tonight. Guilty is charged. So I'm just going to go into this just real quick. Everybody, type, listen, everybody single, on, everybody person, every person on here, I want you to go and tag five to ten people. I want you to share this video right now. I want you to call. So I don't care what you got to do. If you got two phones, I'm trying to tell you, the enemy ain't stopping nothing in Jesus' name. The enemy's not stopping nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are worthy of all the glory, the honor, and the praise. I'm here, you know, I'm, if anybody has seen me on here before with Shakira, I'm about that action. I'm about breaking strongholds. I'm about breaking witchcraft. I'm about breaking the bonds of, of voodoo and wickedness and the lies of the devil. And I love this, what you're doing, Shakira. I love it. I love it. I love it. So come on, get hype. Some of y'all need to get super hype, especially because her page got shut down. Come on, come on, come on. Give me 80 people on here right now and I'm going in. Give me 80 people on here right now and I promise you I'm going in. 100. Hallelujah. Father, you are worthy of all the glory. Come on, come on, come on. I love this so much. Guilty as charged. Yep, you religious people. You, it, guilty as charged. All these religious people. Yep, you right. We was guilty. Yep, we was guilty of selling dope. Yep, we was guilty of being in the streets. Yep, we was guilty of messing with you lame, you know, <coughs> bona fide fake Christians. We was guilty of giving our hearts to you people that didn't deserve it. We was guilty of giving our lives to some of y'all people that didn't deserve it. We was guilty of putting our hand out to the enemy and they didn't deserve it. We was guilty when we got bit by a snake and dang near died, but God brought us back. We was guilty. Come on, somebody. We was guilty by giving our heart to a man or a woman the whole time they was a full-blown narcissist. We was guilty of not using our minds when we should have in our brain 
things as we should have. Guilty as charged. Yep, made bad decisions. But guess what? God makes us bounce back. This is your bounce back season. I'm here to tell you, we're going to bounce back so heavy. We're going to bounce back so hard that the Spirit of the Lord is going to do a double portion, a triple portion, a quadruple portion upon your ministries, upon your lives, upon your families, upon your faith, upon your money, upon your businesses, upon your, upon your mental health, upon everywhere you tread, everywhere you walk. I'm trying to tell y'all right now, everybody wants to speak about what you did wrong. In Jesus' name, I declare that God will lift you up above your enemies tonight in Jesus' name, and he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I was guilty as charged. I was an alcoholic. I failed. I sinned. I backslid. I was guilty as charged. But God, while I was in my pig pen, I wish y'all had, I wish y'all got this in y'all spirit. When I was in the pig pen, the Bible says that the prodigal son came back to his senses and said, even my father's hired service eats better than me. And I'm the king's, I'm the king's son. And hey, listen, all of us should be in our rightful position. I declare and decree tonight in Jesus name that God will put you in your right position because we, we, a lot of people are in the wrong position with the wrong people doing the wrong thing. And you are not supposed to be operating how all these people are operating. You're supposed to be operating in the Holy Ghost because guess what? You may feel condemned, but the Bible says that now there is therefore no condemnation for those who y'all better stop playing boy. Now there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Jesus. For those who are in Christ Jesus, the blood of Jesus is covering you. You are no longer guilty as charged. You are free as a bird. You are free as a dove. You are free to leave the ark. You better stop playing. You are free to leave the ark because the flood is the blood. Look, I said the flood is the blood. You are free to leave the ark because the flood is the blood. Whole bunch of you sitting up here worried about your past, worried about what could happen, worrying about what you should have done different, what you should have done, what do, haven't done, what you did do, what are they saying about you, what they didn't say about you. Who cares? Because the anointing on your life, what God reveals, he heals. You know what? Tell people, yeah, devil. You said this about me, 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 but you forgot that I'm struggling with this, you forgot I'm struggling with this, you forgot I'm struggling with this. And God still loves me exactly as I am. He loves me in my mess. He loves me when I am struggling. He loves me when I have backslidden. He loves me when I don't like nobody. He loves me when I want to smack somebody. He loves me when I want to scream at somebody. And yep, the devil's telling me, see, you shouldn't be like that. All you religious people out there telling me you shouldn't be like that because you're a pastor. You shouldn't have tattoos because you're a pastor. You shouldn't dress the way you dress because you are a pastor. Let me tell y'all something. I am guilty to a religious person, but to Jesus, I'm set free. I said, I am guilty to a hater, but to Jesus, I'm set free. I am guilty to a Pharisee, but because Jesus, I'm set free. I'm guilty to a lie. I, I'm guilty to, a, I'm talking about to a Pharisee, a Pharisee. I'm guilty to a Saul, but I'm blessed with a Paul. I'm guilty to a, y'all better get this in your spirit. A whole bunch of people putting their mouth upon you, yet their tongue is wicked itself. You cannot bless God and curse at this out the same mouth. Whole bunch of people run their mouth about you. Glory to God. They don't know your story. They don't know what you've been through. Y'all didn't know. Y'all didn't know that I was in it. I was active in the streets, that I was an active dope boy, that I got a record long as a track. I'm talking about a track star, that I was in and out of jail my whole life, that I was in hotel rooms selling cocaine, selling pills, selling pounds of marijuana, in and out of rehabs, in stress centers, and I was redeemed by the blood of Jesus. My mind is clear as, as, as it has ever been in my life. My heart is pure as it has ever been in his life. My my body is pure. I done lost 50 something pounds. Y'all talking about everybody want to sit up here and talk about sin and all this stuff, but we don't talk about gluttony in the church. Whole bunch of people eating off gossip. I done lost 53 pounds in two and a half months. Stop playing. Look, everybody wants to talk about how much, how fat they are off their sin, but a whole bunch of people got a whole bunch. They're eating off a whole bunch of sin right now and eating a whole bunch of big people, just obese demons all over your life just walking around I said obese demons all over your life walking around and you got everything to say and you want to judge the prophets you want to put your mouth on the preacher you want to put your mouth on the church you want to talk about what they look like you want you think that religion is based on the outside appearance but it's not it's based on the inside it's based on what God sees in the heart and let me tell you this right now it is my heart that is going to get me up. It is my heart that's going to lift me up. It is the love of God that's going to bless me and prosper me and deliver me. And keep, you better quit playing. Some of y'all, I heard this in the spirit. Some of y'all have left the church 
Because you've been church hurt, because people made you feel guilty about what you have done in your life. You have been divorced. You've committed adultery. You've done all kinds of fornication, dope, smoking weed, drinking. And then you get a word and immediately people want to kick you up out of the church. It's time for you to get back into service. It's time for you to get back into rotation in the spirit of God. It's time for you to get in your rightful position so that God can use you. Yeah, you was guilty one time. You was guilty two times. But guess what? God is the God of the first chance. The second chance, the third chance, the fourth chance, the fifth chance, the sixth chance, the 70 million chance, the trillion chance, his chances don't run out. So if God forgives me every day and don't blame me for things that I got going on, what do you matter? Did you look, I'm going to break it down like this. Did you know when I go to the throne that God's not going to call you? Did you know when I get to the throne, uh, Sister Shakira, did you know that when, when Sister Shakira McFadden goes to the throne before God, do you know that God is not going to call you? And say, hey, can you slide through real quick and put your mouth on Shakira and tell me what you feel about her? Tell me, should I take her to hell or should I bring her to heaven? It's going to be you and God. It's not going to be anybody else. Nobody has a right to put their mouth on anybody. Shut your mouth, keep it closed because you don't know when you are going to need the mercy seat next. Whole bunch of people trying to get to the mercy seat. You standing around talking about God's anointed and you wonder why you ain't prospering and moving forward because your mouth ain't right. Your, ma your, your money ain't right because your mouth ain't right. Your relationship with God ain't right because your mouth ain't right. Come on somebody. Your relationship with people ain't right because your mouth ain't right. You, you, your work ain't right because your mouth ain't right. Your grind ain't right because your mind ain't right. You, boy, you better stop playing. Your mouth is not right. It's tight, but it's right, church. I said it's tight, but it's right. So, yeah, I may have been guilty a hundred times. I may have been, I may have backslidden and fell into my sin 200, 300 times. I may have fallen short of the glory of God three, four, five, six, seven hundred times, but he forgives me every single time. He lets, he delivers me every single time. He pulls me out of the muck and the mire every single time. He's pulled me out of fornication every single time. He's delivered my heart of addiction every single time. And he keeps growing me and perfecting me. And I don't need none of you narcissists. I don't need none of you narcissists putting your mouth on me. Touch not thou anointed and do my prophet no harm. There is a reverence in this room today. On this live right now, there is a reverence in this room today in Jesus' name. We're still going to get the message across. We're still going to bless the Lord. We're still going to give him praise. We're still going to give him honor. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. You want to serve God? There's 94 people on here right now. Can I get all 95 people to share this video? Look, it, go down to the bottom, share this video right now. Did you know, did you know that uh, people love to look at you and, and say, well, I got discernment. And what they do is they look at you with discernment and then they immediately judge you. And, and then they tell you, well, God told me that I need to stay away from you. No, you, you no. Maybe God told you to stay away from them because he don't want you polluting them. Sometimes God don't some watch this. God don't tell me to stay away from y'all better get this in your heart. Well, God will tell some people to stay away from you because it's not you that's gonna hurt them, it's them that's gonna hurt you. Sometimes God well, y'all ain't listening to it. Sometimes God will tell these people. Don't go around these people it because not because of you, but because of them. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you right now by the blood of Jesus, my God, by the blood of Jesus, that I don't have to sit around and have condemnation and shame and guilt. So if you're walking around with all kinds of guilt, you're walking around with all kinds of shame, that ain't of God. You're walking around with all kinds of worry, all kinds of fears, that ain't of God. You're walking around broke, that ain't of God. Poverty ain't of God. Poverty is not a blessing. I've never heard one person walk around and say, boy, I'm just, I, I'm broke in a mug. God has blessed me. I, I'm broke as a joke. I ain't got no money to feed my kids. God has blessed me. Take the, take
take away that false humility and put it on the altar and say, God, it, I know that it's your will to bless me. It is your good and perfect will to bless me. Yeah, I was guilty in the past of not stewarding my money right. I was guilty in the past of not sowing. I was guilty in the past of not tithing. I was guilty in the past of taking my money and clutching it. And I stayed broke because I had a poverty mentality. Now I have a multi-million dollar mentality. I hang around multi-millionaires. I hang around multi-millionaire business owners. I hang around billionaires. I know actual billionaires that I sit down with that got Payless shoes on. That tell me how to hustle because guess what? At one time, they were guilty of failing many times, a hundred times, but they kept going. And I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but you got to keep going. You got to keep pressing. You got to keep moving forward. If, yo, if your plan don't work the first time, do it again. If it don't work the second time, keep going. If you're around, show me your friends. I'll show you your future. Why are you hanging around people that are yet with yesterday mindsets but don't have vision? The Bible says that my people perish for a lack of vision. They perish for a lack of knowledge. You got to have a support system. You got to have a support team. And I and look, the guilty stuff, the guilty verdict in the court when they say, yeah, you're guilty of selling dope. Yeah, you're guilty of this. Yeah, because the devil had your mind. He had your heart. But guess what you're guilty of right now? Get, hold on. Boy, y'all better stop playing. Guess, guess what you're guilty of right now? You're guilty of being blessed. You're guilty of being delivered. You Man, stop playing with me, boy. Stop playing with me. I'll throw this phone right now. Look, hey, you're, watch this. You're guilty of having a new life. You're guilty of being healthier. You're guilty of being, watch this, of God releasing financial blessing and breakthrough in your life. You're guilty of having better health. You're guilty of being able to operate in the spirit of God. You're guilty of having the gifts of the spirit, but you are no longer guilty of the lies of the enemy. Do And listen, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm telling you right now, when God puts a guilty verdict on you that's good, he is not, or, or if he says you're not guilty, God is not a God of double jeopardy. God is going... God is not a God of double jeopardy. If God says you're not guilty, no man can tell you you are. Paul the Apostle said, I've done, I've done man no wrong. I've harmed nobody. Glory to God. Look what they just said. I'm glad I'm, I'm guilty of being blessed. Whole bunch of people ain't going to be on your level. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but this next level you're going through in the next six months... I, oh, watch this, Shakira. Watch this. In the next six months... I'm talking to every person on here. This is vital for you. You got to change everything in the next six months. In the next six months, you got to make a decision. You, Somebody on here right now, you're going to have to make a decision. Am I going to stay and be broke? Or I'm going to leave and I'm going to get rich. And you think I'm just talking about money? No, sir. I'm talking about rich in glory. Rich in joy. Rich in, ha my God, rich in happiness. Rich in purity, rich in his faithfulness. So who you are around and who you are connected to is the vine that you are eating off of. Come on, somebody. It is the vine that you are eating off of. And what rotten fruit are you putting in your system? What rotten fruit are you putting in your life? What rotten fruit are you eating off of and that you are feeding your demons with? Because I'm not hanging around nobody that's not about that action. I'm not hanging around nobody that likes to bring up my past. I'm not hanging around nobody that wants to bring up how terrible things were. Because what God has for me is for me and what God has has for you is for you and if you if this thing's on fire and God's put a fire around you to ignite then throw some wood on it and stop throwing water on it come on somebody whole bunch of people want to throw water on, on your life they want to throw water on your blessing they want to throw water on your breakthrough they want to throw water on it but God says listen I need I'm gonna send some people around you that's gonna add to the fire they're gonna add to your game they're gonna add to your hustle they're gonna add to your Facebook your social media they're going to add to your ministry. They're going to add to your home. They're going to add to your life. Every time you see me, I look better. I want to be better tomorrow than I am today. I want to be more sophisticated tomorrow than I am today.
Guilty as charged by the blood of the lamb. I am guilty of being, watch this, a son of God. I'm guilty of being delivered and healed. I'm guilty of having a testimony. I'm guilty of rocking with Jesus. I'm guilty. Boy, I'm starting to feel the Holy Ghost up in here, boy. Y'all better, y'all, listen. Whoo, Holy Ghost, boy, and I got more energy than I ever have in my life because I'm around good energy. Meaning what? I ain't talking about that new age stuff. I'm around people with good mindsets. I'm around people that think better. I'm around people that don't care. Complain. Y'all better quit playing with me. I'm around people that love to, to love life. I'm around people that say, you know what? Yeah, my testimony is what got me here. I'm not afraid to tell it. Some of y'all on here are afraid to tell your testimony. Some of y'all on here right now are afraid to tell your testimony. Some of y'all are on here right now uh, afraid to talk about what you've been through because you are afraid of being judged. You're being judged anyway. People are hating on you anyway. People are lying on you and disrespecting you anyway. People want to look at you and be, and, and, I mean, I'm talking about real bad and go ugly on you anyway. But guess what? This is a new season for you. There's new armor coming to you. There's new breakthroughs. There's new manna. There's new glory coming to you. So in Jesus name, I declare and decree by the blood of the lamb that your life is about to change for the better. Why? Because when you declare it, when you decree it, when you shift it, when you say yes to God and God starts doing things, you need to say yes to him and quit getting in your feelings. Your feelings are liars. Your emotions lie to you. So listen, when you say I'm not good enough, that's a lie. When you say I can't do it, that's a lie. When you say I can't move forward. That's a lie. When you say I'm never going to get money, that's a lie. When you say I'm not going to build my ministry, that's a lie. When you say everything that you speak and what you believe, you become. So everything that you become, you are that. So make sure that you are around people that can saturate themselves with a non-guilty verdict when it comes to the enemy, but a guilty verdict when it comes to God blessing your life because you have not even seen or heard what God is about to do in your life. You have, and when you are obedient, and when you say yes to God, and when you tell the Holy Ghost yes, and when you say, Father, in Jesus' name, do it, God. When you tell the Holy Ghost, when you tell the Holy Spirit yes, things begin to shift in your life. Father, right now in Jesus' name, come on, just your presence, your holy fire, God. Your holy presence upon this live right now in Jesus' name. God, I thank you right now for the glory that is set before us, God. I thank you right now, God, that even as I'm speaking, that I, and I see this in the Spirit, at the, even, even as I'm speaking, things are changing at your workplace. Things are changing at your home. My God, things are changing in your life as I'm speaking. I ask God that we dispatch the angels of heaven, that they would surround every person under the sound of my voice and break off this. Listen, y'all over here are ashamed because one of your relatives or one of your exes is telling you that you're a bad person and you used to do this, this, and this. But what are you doing now? What are you doing now? That is the question. What are you doing now? I'm not concerned about what you got to say about me, what I did 10 years ago. What are we doing now? Where are we at in our lives right now? Because whatever God reveals, he heals. And I'm going higher than I've ever been in my entire life. And I need a whole bunch of people to come with me. Church, this is it's not a game. We are living in a time right now where you got to suit up and boot up that you're going to have that. You know what? I am guilty as charged. I'm guilty of being a whole blessing. And whoever leaves my life, they lost me. I didn't lose them. I'm going to say this. I need y'all to think like this. If you left me and you and you got out of my life, you lost me. I didn't lose you. If you if you literally bounced on me and you feel a certain type of way. And you did it, it, it. I didn't lose you. If you left, if you left the ministry, if you left my life, and you and you just had an ungrateful heart, and you was disrespectful, it, I, I'm pleased about it. I'm pleased about it because if you, if you're quick to leave, I ain't chasing nobody. Because I'm guilty as charged staying where I'm at as long as I'm on my hustle, as long as I'm doing what I got to do, as long as I'm serving Christ, what I got to do, that's all that matters. Because I'm still going to get blessed whether you are there or not. But at the end of the day, it would be nice if you could be committed. It would be nice if you would quit being back and forth. It would be nice if you would quit being double-minded. It would be nice if there were people out there that said yes and their yes be a yes and their no be a no. That's the thing that the enemy loves to 
do is cause division because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. But I'm here to tell y'all right now, when you get on your job and you get on your hustle, Things are about to start changing in Jesus' name. I said things are about to start changing in Jesus' name. Listen. Listen. Hey, check this out. It's not my loss to lose something that was oppressing me in my presence the whole time. It wasn't, it, it, it's not a loss. It's not a loss to feel better. Cause you was, because while you was there, I was hoping that you would stay and bless me. But since you left, I realized that the whole time that you was there, you wasn't doing nothing anyway, but crushing me and accusing me and telling me I was guilty. You was telling me I was guilty of being a bad pastor. You was telling me I was guilty of being a bad husband. You was telling me I was guilty and you was putting your opinion on things you know nothing about. In the name of Jesus, shut up. Cause you, cause you, you speaking out your mouths, things you have no idea. You have no idea what it's like being in leadership if you ain't in leadership. And you ain't got no idea what it's like, uh, having, you know, being judged more harshly by every single person that you come in contact with. So if I was you, I would keep my mouth off the man and the woman of God. Y'all, y'all better stop playing. If I was you, I would keep my mouth off of people because you don't know what people have been through. That's the whole thing. So when you put your mouth on them, you are hindering yourself. You are hindering from what God has for you. Because yes, just like I said earlier, yes, Lord, guilty is charged. Gu was guilty in my past, but the blood of Jesus has been shed. Wash me clean. Wash me white. Wash me white as snow. And now I'm walking around brand new. I don't need to defend myself or, or sit up here and argue with you about about situations that you got going on, about ways that you feel about me. If you feel a certain type of way about me, I'd rather you leave peacefully than stay and be ugly. I said, I'd rather you leave my life peacefully than stay and be ugly. Come on, somebody. So you say, well, man, he, he, he shouldn't, he, he shouldn't do this and you people and you shouldn't be doing that and you shouldn't be doing this and you shouldn't be talking like this. Whole time you are speaking out your mouth. Come on. Whole time you are speaking out your mouth and you have no idea what you are speaking on. And then it comes back to you. And now you're fighting a demon in private that you wasn't ready for because you spoke in public. Some of y'all are going through a whole lot of hell in private right now because what you talk about in public. And some of y'all are going through a whole lot of hell right now in public because what you talk about in private. And God says what is in the dark will be revealed in the light. And because what's in your heart is dark. And when you speak it out your heart. It comes in the light and it attracts whatever you speak. Did you know that the enemy comes as an angel of light? So he will love for you. He would love to see you continuously. Man, come on, somebody. He would love to continuously see you walk in oppression and yet make you think that you're doing the right thing because you are getting fed off of your narcissistic ways and you are telling people, you're sitting up here telling people, let's go against the grain, this, 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 and this person. Whole time you're speaking against the ministry that you're supposed to be getting uh, blessed from. God puts you in a place and you say, and, you, and then you start making the pastor guilty of things in the past. You start gossiping about the man or the woman of God. Guess what? You are losing your blessings. When God puts you in a Mercedes, stop treating it like it's a Honda. Whole bunch of y'all don't even know how to pump premium gas. You wouldn't even know what number to press if, if you pulled up in a Benz or a Lamb. You wouldn't understand it. How y'all doing? You wouldn't understand it because your mind is in poverty. Your mind is enslaved. People are like this. I'm not saying people on here. I'm just saying people that you have met are like this. And they will do this because they don't know or they don't know how to operate in the spirit of God. They don't know how to operate in peace and enjoy. And what's happening is they are being stolen. Things are being stolen from them when God's trying to give to you and pour into you. So you know what you're guilty of? You know what we're guilty of? I'm talking about you know what other people are guilty of? They're guilty of rejecting the blessings of God because they would rather feel their pain and they would rather get their narcissistic supply by blaming everybody else for what they got going on. And God says, listen, you putting guilty verdicts on everybody else, just like the man that cut Jesus. Watch this, that when Jesus was going, uh, was arrested and uh, the Roman soldier, he got his ear cut off. And he said, he who lives by the sword will die by the sword. And you know what Jesus did? He put the man's ear back on it and he healed his, he healed the side of his head. He, I'm talking about, he put his ear on it. Watch this. He put his ear back and he said, he who lives by the sword going to die by the sword. Watch what, watch what he said. 
He said, I put his ear back on because there's a whole bunch of Christians walking around with a bunch of people's ears in their pocket. You walking around the church with a gang load of people's ears in y'all pocket. Come on, somebody. You walking back and forth with a bunch of people's ears in y'all pocket that you cut off of people's heads because you live by the sword, because you judge them. And the reason why God put the ear back on was because he was saying, I even want my enemy to hear me when I call him. How are you going to get in between, stop judging people and start repaying e evil with good and don't repay evil with evil because I need you to take that ear out your pocket and put it back on his head so that he can hear from me the same way you do. Whole bunch y'all walking around with a whole bunch of people's ears in y'all pocket and you wonder why people ain't listening to you. They ain't listening to you because they can't hear you. They can't hear Holy Ghost up out of you, boy. They can't hear the Holy Ghost up out of you. They can't understand. People can't listen to the Holy Ghost out of you because you don't cut their ear off. Y'all better stop playing guilty as charged, boy. Guilty as charged. Hey, say. You know what? Hey, let's go back to this. Hey, you know they, my, my, my friend, my sister. My, my, my friend, my sister Shakira McFadden is doing this. It, it, and they cut her page off. And now I had to go live on, and, and honor for her. Because they cut, watch this, because they cut her page off. Why, now don't, don't leave me. They cut this woman's page off and will not let her go live because somebody was, somebody was reporting her page for preaching Jesus. Somebody's hating on her because she's got a big following. Somebody's judging her because of her pictures. Somebody's doing something. And you know what? We don't care because there's always a loophole and we are guilty for preaching the gospel. We are guilty for preaching the word of God. We are guilty for putting our lives on the line. We are guilty for, watch this, for submitting to the Lord. <coughs> we are guilty for doing what, is, what other people will not do. There's a lot of people, I'm telling y'all right now, there's a lot of people that would have left Christ for a lot less. I'm talking about, uh, uh, there's a lot of people that walk out of the church on a daily basis because they don't feel that the chairs are in the right place or the worship team ain't good enough. Whole time, God puts you in there, but you are disobedient. You was disobedient before you came in. Church, this is a word that's going to correct the body because in order for you to grow, you need, we all of us need correction and all of us need to receive that we have all been guilty of something but we cannot continue to walk around when the bible says now there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus if we why do we condemn other people if god don't why do we condemn other why do we condemn people if god don't if God is not condemning me then why are you if God is not calling me guilty then why are you who are you to call me guilty if he says that I'm not. That he stood in and took my place. Come on somebody, straight gas right now. Add to the fire. Look, it, he stood in your place so that people cannot talk down on you. I'm guilty for being a man of God. Watch this in Jesus' name. I want to set this on fire. You know Sister Shakira... You know, Sister Shakira did this and trusted me to do this. I want, because watch, there's 90 people on here. There's 90 people on here. I'm going to ask 90 people to sow $50. All the links are at the bottom of the page. This is going, listen, if you, you can ask Shakira, she's on here right now. I'm going to ask everybody just because Facebook is doing dirt, Facebook is doing us dirt ball. Facebook is doing us dirty. I'm going to ask everybody to sow a sacrificial seed into this ministry, into Shakira's ministry uh, at 50, 100 or $150 into my links below. 
Right now, it, I'm going to stay on. Go down to the page right now and go, go to the cash app. You see it right there. You, so put next to it a seed. Watch this. A seed for being guilty is charged. Because you are guilty in Christ Jesus for being delivered. And everything that God has promised you, you are guilty. Everything that God has promised you, you are guilty of. You are guilty of having a good life. You are guilty. Uh, you're about to get that breakthrough. I feel it in Jesus' name. I need everybody right now. Can I get 90 people to either go so 50, $100, or $150? Go do it right now. And every person that does it, I'm going to pray in Jesus' name. Because this is not right what these people are doing to this woman. This is not right what these people are doing to her page. And I'm going to tell you right now, we are all a family and we are all doing this for the ministry. Can I have everybody go down here right now? The link is Cash App, Money Sign Pastor JP. Come on, sew into the Cash App. She, look what Shakira just said right now so you can know that she's on here for real. I, guilty is charged. I pray, And I'm praying for real. That you give what God has blessed you with to give. And you sow a sacrificial offering in Jesus name. You can go to PayPal. You can go to Cash App. You can go Venmo. You can go to Facebook Pay. We're asking everybody to sow a seed. It's going to Shakira anyway. You can sow a seed into her ministry. Through this. Literally they cannot, they cannot let her go live. That's why we're doing this. So, Father, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for everybody. If you've got to get off my page real quick and you've got to go sow, go do it right now. We're going to wait. We're going to wait just a couple minutes for you to sow that seed into the ground that God is breaking you free and sow for somebody else. Come on. My, my info is right there. The link is all at the bottom. Links for the cash app. Money sign. Pastor JP 1986. The PayPal is Pastor JP 1986. Venmo. Pastor Jeffrey Pitts Jr. Come on, somebody. Upper room mini. A, a Facebook page, Jeffrey Pitts. Zell, J underscore P-I-T-S at yahoo.com. <clears throat> she can only post and she cannot go live. I'm asking everybody, so 50 to 100 to 150, a sacrificial seed into this woman's ministry right now in Jesus' name. We want to be a blessing today. Can we do that? We're going to wait just a minute while, as I pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you right now. That this word is for today. That this word is on point. That this word is for now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you would just touch and agree, God. I pray that every person on here that has been through trauma, that has been through pain, that has been, that has been through hurt and just woundedness, Lord, that you would touch every person under the sound of my voice. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that victory would fill this place right now, God, that every person, come on, 50, 100, and 150, just begin to sow right now what God has blessed you to give. Into this revival. I love it when she does these online revivals. How many people do you know that do this? These are for people that can't get to church, who have been struggling, who need a word, who, is, who wants to give, wants to sow into good ground. Sow into the good ground right now. Come on, go ahead. Every person that sows, I'm just going to pray over right now. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you right now for the victory in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I ask right now that you would just sow a mighty seed, that you would help these people see that when you sow, it breaks curses. It breaks curses of the poverty. Come on, it, I'm talking about it breaks curses of poverty. Oh, glory to God. If there's anybody on here that can sow for somebody that's not able to sow, please go ahead and do it down below. All the links are at the bottom of the page. Hallelujah. Come on. Sister Shakira McFadden is a blessing to the body of Christ. She's a blessing to everybody she comes in contact with. But I'm here to tell y'all right now, it's time to turn over a new leaf. It's time to do something new. It's time to operate in something brand new. It's time to let God use you in a way that you've never been used ever in Jesus name. Church, I love y'all. I bless y'all. Shakira, if you want to type something real quick, I want everybody to stay on here real quick while we're, while people are sewing. Everybody on here right now. Uh, Sister Shakira, if you want to type something real quick to your people real quick. And if, if you can get on my page right now, you can follow me. Pastor Jeffrey Pitts Jr., you can follow this page. Share this video. Tag somebody in this. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, the links are on the bottom. It says the links are not on the bottom. Hold on. 
I got them right there. Hold on. There it is. I just posted it again. <clears throat> you can see it right there. Links to the cash app, the paper. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to pin the comment. I just pinned it again. Hallelujah. Okay, they're there. Bet, yeah. So everybody just go down to the to the screen. I'm just going to wait a minute. And I, and I, I want to tell y'all right now, switch who you're around. Everybody go down. Switch, switch the people who you are around and get around people that are, I'm talking about business minded. People who want to do great. People who want to move and maneuver. In Jesus name, people who want to do good. I'm talking about people who want to see you prosper and move mightily. I'm asking everybody to sow 50 to 100 to 150 into this woman's ministry. In Jesus name, I'm getting ready to end this. We bless you guys. We love y'all. We pray that you get, got blessed from this. Uh, if you're in the Indianapolis area, uh, come to church. We got uh, church Wednesday nights and uh, Sunday mornings at 1030. Tag and share a friend. Sow into this ministry and break good ground. We love y'all. Be blessed in Jesus' name.